Are we ready to practice? Let's begin at the front of the mat. Spread the feet hip distance apart. Roll the shoulders back, standing tall, standing straight. Feel the roots going down from your feet, through the mat, through the ground. Feel roots enveloping your feet, becoming part of the earth. The heart lifting and opening to the sky and the eyes closing completely. Then lifting the hands and folding the palms together in front of the center of the chest. The chin lowering to the heart. Inhale. Exhaling down, Uttarasa. Inhaling, look up and stepping back, bending the knees as you do so, and then straightening the legs, finding plank pose. Coming down onto the forearms, finding forearm plank. Back up onto the hands, plank pose, and with an exhale, Chaturanga. And then forward and up to Urdhva Mukha Shalasa. And Adha Mukha Shalasa. Keep stretching the arms and stretching the legs. And then looking up and bringing the right leg forward to a nice wide lunge. If you can be on the forearms, be on the forearms. If not, be on the hands. And rocking yourselves forward and backwards. And then bending the back knee down. And pressing the hips down to the mat. Before coming back up and plank pose. Forearm plank. Lift the belly button up. Firm the legs. And plank. With an exhale, chaturanga. Forward and up to Urdhva Mukha Shalasa. Even more lift on the second. And now bringing the left leg forward, choosing whether you're on the hands or the forearms, and propelling yourselves forward and backwards with the back foot. And then the back knee resting and trying to press the hips down. Before coming back up to your plank pose, spread the fingers widely, charge the legs. And forearm plank. And plank. Inhale and exhale, Chaturanga. Forward and Urdhva Mukha Shanasana. Make sure your front hip bones are as close as possible to the heels of your hands. Press the buttocks forward, lift the chest up, and add the book as Straight 
Stretch the arms, stretch the legs. And make sure that you're lowering the head so the back of the neck is long, the brain is relaxed. And now looking up, walking forward, bending the knees to walk forward, feet the width of the mat, parallel. Uttarasana. Turning to the right, Parshva Uttanasana. And to the left. And then back to the middle. Preparing to lift up Urdhvasthasana. Sacrum moving towards the heels, arms stretching to the sky. And exhaling. All right, time for Uttitatvikasana. Using the wall with the outside edge of our back foot. Right leg forward. Gripping the legs. Lifting the chest. Exhale. Hand to the front ankle. Uti Dadriyanasa. And then turn this top arm and extend the top arm over diagonally for a Pashvakonasana arms, stretching the waist in Trikonasana. The outside edge of the back foot firm. And then back up. Changing sides. Outside edge of the right foot against the wall. Left leg forward, heel lined up with the arch of the back foot. Grip the legs, lift the chest. And exhale, reaching. Now turn this top arm and extend the arm over to head me. Squeeze the back inner knee. Keep turning and twisting the chest up to the sky. And then the arm coming back up. And back to the front of the mat. And tell us up. Heels firm, legs gripping up, chest opening. Bending the knees, sitting back, lifting the arms up, Utkatasan. And exhaling forward, Utkatasan. Looking up and jumping back to plank pose. Inhale and exhale, Chaturanga. Push yourselves forward, Urdhva Mukhashvanasa. Adho Mukhashvanasa. Stepping the right leg forward to the middle of the mat, coming onto the outside edge of the foot, the back knee to the ground, move the back knee back, the foot should be lined up with the center of your face as much as possible. Right arm underneath for support, extreme gunasana. Emerging 
and back into the strength of plank. Chaturanga. Udha Mukha Shanasana. Adha Mukha Shanasana. And left leg forward. Godasana. Onto the outside edge of the foot. Back knee down. Move the back knee back. So the foot is lined up with the face. The left forearm supporting. And exhaling. Pushing yourselves away from your hands and press the front thighs back. And now looking up, bending the knees and jumping the feet forward, exhaling over the legs. Uttanasa. Bending the knees, lifting the arms. Uttanasa. Utkatasana 2. And 1. And Udvarasana. Exhaling. Tanasana. Alright. Parashva Konasana. With the outside edge of the left foot against the wall. Make sure you have the right distance, needs to be a little bit wider. Lift the arms, lift the chest, inhale. Exhale, make a square. Reaching and bring the hand down, bending this top arm. And first, turning the trunk, push into the outside edge of the back leg, and now extend the arms ahead of the way. Keep pushing the outside edge of the right thigh against the arm, and from that action, twisting and turning more. And then bring the arm back in and coming back out. And changing sides. So wide enough to make it 90 degree angle with the front leg. Making a square. And then reaching. Placing the hands and this arm coming in. Keep this front knee bent. Pushes the outside edge of the back foot, turn and twist, and extend. Keep stretching that top arm, make sure the elbow is straight. Bring the arm back in and coming out. And facing. Adho Mukha Shanasan, heels lifted and the backs of the heels pressing against the wall. Press those heels back, push those front thighs back.
And now bring the feet together so they're lined up the inner feet. And lift the right leg up and extend it, turn the toes under and find the wall. We're walking the hands closer now and walking that foot up as the hands come closer, come in as close as you can. Squeeze the inner knees and charge out through both of the legs. And then coming forward and bending the knees, shoulder the hips. Arms behind the back, interlock the fingers. Remember which little finger is underneath and lift the arms up. And bring the arms over to the right. And to the middle, and over to the left. And back up to the middle. And releasing. Arms stretching forward. Avruka Shanasan, heels to the wall. Now feet together. And then lifting the left leg and finding the wall, turning the toes under. Legs straight, femurs coming into the hip sockets. And now walk the hands closer and walk that left foot up. Keep rolling that back, lift the thigh in. Femurs into the hip sockets. Walking the hands forward and releasing back down to shoulder openers, changing the interlock of the fingers so the other little pinky is underneath. Lift the arms up. Keep weighing the front shoulders back, lifting the arms up high. And then the arms over to the right. And then back to the middle and over to the left. And then back up and releasing down to the ground. Child's pose, deep inhalation, deep exhalation. And now rolling back up and coming to Upavishta Konasa. Widening those sit bones, heels pressing down, toes coming back and press the front thighs down. Keep the pubic bone perpendicular as we come forwards. So that means you need to be engaging the pelvic floor, tightening and lifting so it supports the lift of the pubic bone as we come down.
The legs will be very happy to pacify, so keep watching them, gripping them, pressing the front thighs down, pulling the toes back. And if your Balakonasana is very tight, the knees are very lifted, you can take some height for the hips. You can also turn around and do it with your hands on the wall, walking the hands up and pressing into the hands to push the hips back. Otherwise, coming forward, Yoga Mudrasana. Now we're going to move into some core work. So if you have a slightly fragilized lower back, you may want to have a blanket. And just have it right underneath the back hips and the curve of the lower back. Not the upper back, just the lower back part. And come and lie down on your backs. Holding the sides of the mat and making sure you're in the middle of the mat. The arms will help you to determine. So, awakening intelligence in the back body. And then feet off the mat, inhale. And exhale, pushing to 90. And pushing and extending to 60, keeping the lower back pressing down. And even lower to 30. And 60. And 90. Roll the shoulders back again. And again, 60. And 30. Keep pushing up through the feet. And 60. And 90. And then bend the knees and feet to the floor. Rolling over, coming out. Janu Shishasan, left leg extended. And right leg bent, heel to the groin. Reaching with the right arm to the outside edge of the left foot. This hand, fingertips on the floor, turning and twisting. Don't think of coming forward, think of twisting for now. So that the organs are being placed. And now coming forward, reaching with the hands to the feet, exhaling the head down, Janushishasana, final stage of the pose. and changing sides. First, the twisting action. Reaching for the outside edge. Twisting and turning. And now, coming forward, for the final stage of Janusha Ah. <sighs> 
Push smoother as well. Pull the toes back, press the front thighs down. Exhaling forward. Lowering the head, breathing. But keep the legs active. And now crossing the ankles, right ankle cross in front of the left. Exhaling forward, Yoga Mudrasana Sukhasana. And then walking the hands to the right, all the way to the right, the left arm stretching, the right elbow bending to help you turn and twist as you come forward. And then to the left. Changing the cross of the ankles. Your mudrasa. And to the right. And to the left. And back up. Feeling that quietness coming. Let's do one last little twist that's really beautiful for the upper back shoulder area. So from Vajrasana. Coming forward, and we're pressing into this hand to turn to the right, so the left elbow is coming across. Now you may feel that you want to widen your knees just a little bit to get some give. Coming across, left arm extending, right fingertips pushing to twist. And now, pressing the palms together, and continuing that twist. Femur is moving back. Mm. And coming to center again. Preparing for the other side. And exhaling, right arm across, lengthening it. Left fingertips pressing down to help you to twist. And now the palms connecting and pressing the palms to increase the twist. Right up to the upper back. Feeling that top shoulder blade move towards the bottom shoulder blade. And back to the center. And back to the center. 
to sitting. Knees together. Elbows back. Deep inhalation. Deep exhalation. Right, we're now going to be coming to the wall for Vipanita Kani. So grab your blanket and let's be back for that. You can either have your blanket like this, or if you're ready for a little bit more height on the hips, fold it over to get that chunkiness. But when you fold it over this way, it's a little smaller, so you don't want to have a touch on the wall. So when you come in, you have a little space to get as close to the wall as possible. And then the shoulders really rolling back, taking some time to make sure that the front shoulders are rolled back, the shoulder blades are pressing up. So you're getting the chest opening of this inversion. And then looking at your legs, you can just roll the right leg open, so it's flowing open, and roll the left leg open. So you're not holding onto the feet. And when the legs are rolling open, the groins will be really releasing too. And then the arms extended diagonally away, palms up to the sky, fingers relaxed. And with an exhale, closing the eyes and being here. And now we're going to bend the knees, sliding the feet down the wall, and just cross the ankles, resting in the supasana.
Don't have to change the bust the ankles. And on an exhale, let go again. Sukhasana Nipparitakarani. And then uncrossing the ankles and pushing ourselves away from the wall. So we do a right side, left side, right side, left side, until the lower back is on the floor. And you can cross again the ankles and you can rest on your blanket. Sutta Sukasa. And now changing the cross of the ankles and resetting. Supa Supasa. Now, uncrossing and rolling over to the right, pushing ourselves back up. And we're going to take a final seat, ending with just one minute. That's it. Could seem like 30 minutes, but will only be one minute. Could seem like five seconds, depending on where you're at. Meditation. So it's helpful to have a wall behind to support the spine, to make sure you're not collapsing. The chest is open. The eyes closing. Watching the in breath. Watching the out breath. And folding the palms together. Inhale. Welcome back. Our practice is complete. Well done. Have a beautiful rest of the day. Namaste. Look forward to practicing again together soon.